Did the Employees Provident Fund suffer the outcome of pumping and dumping in the Treasury bond market? News First, Zulfik Parzan reports. The Commission informed the witness, Richard Benedict Dias, that if anyone tries to interfere with his evidence or his ability to give evidence before the Commission, he must inform the Commission immediately. Justice Prasanna Jayavardhana said that the Commission will deal with those who try to interfere with the evidence as the Commission has the power to do so. Deputy General Manager of Treasuries at Pan Asia Banking Corporation Richard Aruna Benedict Dias provided evidence today. He testified that Pan Asia Banking Corporation purchased bonds in the auctions and markets at the request of Perpetual Treasuries Limited. Providing details on a series of transactions, the witness said Kasun Palisena of Perpetual Treasuries Limited had called PABC informing them that the Employees Provident Fund was ready to sell their securities at a particular rate. He said PABC was used as an intermediary because both the EPF and PTL could not trade with each other due to trading restrictions on counterparties. After PTL informs PABC of the requirement, PABC verifies the trade with the EPF. Every time it was with an individual, Saman Kumara, who serves in the EPF department at the central bank. Thereafter, PABC made the purchase and sold to PTL at a marginal profit of 0.05%. The witness testified that PABC acted as an intermediary between the EPF and PTL upon the instructions given by former chairman of Pan Asia Banking Corporation, Nimal Pereira. This is incidentally the first time the evidence on Nimal Pereira came to light. Dyer said he would not have entered into these deals if there was no such instruction given to the primary dealer unit of Pan Asia Banking Corporation. The witness noted that Wealth Trust Securities Limited and Perpetual Treasuries Limited had entered into a series of transactions to raise the rates of the bond being traded and thereafter unloaded them on the EPF which then incurred a loss. The witness said that this can be called pumping and dumping. He further said the former chairman of PABC Nimal Pereira entered into bond trading on a personal level and through his private firm NP Capital Limited and sold bonds to the EPF. The witness said it is surprising that the EPF making purchases at high rates had gone unnoticed by its investment committee for a period of over two years. If he had done the same at PABC, he would have been held accountable. He testified that the former chairman at Pan Asia Banking Corporation, Nimal Pereira, had used PABC trading facilities for his deals in government securities. Pereira had left PABC in March this year. Richard Aruna Benedict Dias said he was not under duress to give evidence before the Commission. Justice Prasanna Jayavardhana personally thanked the witness for being very frank in his evidence.